Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Ven and Gueso channel. This is Vengigal. And this is Gueso. And Miguel. We got Miguel today. He he used Miguel and not the other name. What? Yeah, we cannot use the other name. We, the other name. Not the other name. You mean the one that he used before getting into a preaching? Did oh. that... that <laughs> That, that may have been the name. That may have been the name. Yes. yes yeah. And we are back again yes. with another care package. Yes, we are. If you missed the last five, I suggest you go back and, and watch them. There's nothing else I can tell you. I'm trying here to just kill time to tell you to go watch stuff. Please go watch stuff. I'm, I'm sporting my my Papa B Vader. I see. I see. I like that. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, and, yeah, yeah. And I like made, that. I like made, that. Made by your wife. Yeah, she did. She did a good job. She did. Yeah, she did. She, she, did. Did, a good job. she did. You know, we're we're wearing similar. You know, yeah, we all this merch is never available because we don't sell merch. Yes, but it's, it's all it's what we use. <laughs> uh, but we want to say thank you to our our beloved uh, audience. Is always thinking and looking. You know, looking forward to. We're yeah. still getting your messages and the comments. And thank you for taking the time that you could be watching something else or you somehow decided to watch the Ven and Hueso episode. And I that, appreciate it. I, I, I certainly appreciate it. And, you know, we, we, we want to make sure that we uh we talk about Miguel here for a little bit because, uh, and that's all I got to say about that. Yeah. So we will go over. Miguel, what you got? What you got for us, man? Just, just thank you for having me here again. Okay, so, good, good, yeah, good, yeah. good. It's been a while. It's it's we, it's you know, we got to talk about stuff. Yeah, we'll get yeah it's very important some stuff. Really good blessing since the last time we saw Miguel. Yes, some been... some callings. Yeah, that's true. That's Talks right. The that's right. A pool as well. Yes, man. That's you, a, that's you notice blessing. how I immediately go to the 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 uh, uh, what do you call it the not not the spiritual stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, the, I, the, the, the material the, stuff. The, the earthly stuff is exactly <laughs> what Pastor Ben went straight to. Ooh. The material stuff. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. No, I'm a little I do want to say thank you for the pool because today I got sweet chin music. I got Stone Cold Stun, <laughs> Choke Slam. Yep. I think I hurt my back. I actually yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Choke Slam music. There, that's yeah. awesome. It, but we, I, we, I, uh, I think we had a, that, we had a blast. Um, we are we are also blessed and thank you for those who are watching uh the, uh, the past episodes and know about uh, Pastor Victor's uh, wife that she's been going through. Thank you for your prayers. I know that you guys are praying. I know people that are praying for her all the I time. I mean, we, we still have. Yeah, we still. Hey, we still. It's going on, man. It's going to happen. That's right. That's uh, right. So thank you for taking the time and, and really show that you care. Uh, and you always, you know, let us know. Pastor, thank you for watching. That's right. I mean, we're like we're showing it, and oh, what's my. going on here? It's a hat. There you go. There you, see, you go. You see, there you go. You see there every, you go. everybody, we're all supporting my wife. 100%. Um, thank you so much for that because I'm going to have so much fun editing this later. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I want to point out real quick um, you know, my wife is now in the final, hopefully, the final. Stages of the of the treatment and all that's that. Amazing. So she has indeed fully lost her hair. Um, and I am, I'm so proud of my wife because we go out and she doesn't, she's like, you know what? At first she was wearing the little thing and she said, you know, there's no point. Cause it's, she sweats a lot because yeah. of the chemo and all that. She was like, nope, I am just gonna, I'm just gonna walk, walk around with it. And we, we were in different places and she's like, you know, I noticed that not a lot of people pull this off. And I'm like, well, honey, you're pulling it off. Hey, Amen. Yeah. You know, what's uh, crazy is that my mom usually mm -hmm. before we go to Roswell, she's very nervous. Right? Yep. She's very nervous when she gets there. And uh, sometimes she gets like very, not depressing, but she gets like, you know, like, oh, I don't know why I have to go through this. And, you know, she's expecting to hear bad news when she goes there. Uh, when yesterday, I, th I think it was yesterday, yesterday. the day before that yep. she came back and she was like singing Corito. And I'm like, what's going on? It's like, oh, because, you know, you told me that I have to have my faith and we have to be positive and stuff. And it's like, yeah, that's exactly, that's the, literally what is the game changer is the mentality yes. is, is having that mentality but you only really get that unfortunately nowadays when you're connected with god you have to right. look for it because that's right not. and and that's and that's the reason why it's uh it, it is important to to understand how can a, a believer or then how even a non-believer can listen to the voice of god Amazing segue. Yes. No, no. Bro. How how can, how can you do that? Amazing. Yeah. I was expecting the, the, the other one. No, no, I was expecting you to go to that one because of, you know the whole situation with the thing and the thing. But the but that one's good too. Yeah. But but the thing is, God does speaks 
to everyone. He speaks to everybody. So even if he, even if you're not serving God or you don't know him, he mm -hmm. still speaks to you. That's right. Oh my goodness. That's well, right. Ben, how do you how do we know this? Well, uh, first of all, we 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 can't talk about that stuff without understanding that way back when in the Old Testament, this was not a common thing. That's correct. God didn't speak to people all the time. There was a selected group of people that both received the Holy Spirit and had a conversation with God. Um, it tend to be um, either you know selected people that were necessary for the line of Jesus or the people who were going to talk about what was going to happen. So the prophets and, and whatnot, these people needed to be uh, inspired and they needed to be part of this particular plan. However, uh -oh. however, once that shadow was completed and the sun came out known as Jesus, and now it shines on everybody, every single person has the, that, that connection or potential connection to speak with God. That is why. That is why the prophets were getting killed because the average Joe was unable to listen to what the, what God was telling them. So they will come up and say, well, God says blue, blue, green, green. And they will be like, this is not God. Well, because you, you are unable to listen to it. Right. You're not connected. That's amazing. That's well, a even, in, even in the law, even in the law, the only person that was allowed to go into the Holy of Holies was the, the, the high priest, the high priest. And he only did it once a year to yes. atone for everybody else. Correct. So can you imagine going an entire 365 day or 364 days of yeah. the year without hearing the voice of God? And then one day of potentially hearing the voice, the voice Ooh. of God hmm. versus today where you are hearing the voice of God, of God right now. Oh, man. And ask a question about yes. in, in the, in the past, um, in the, uh, Old Testament, um, did people ever take advantage of being able to listen to or hear God's voice mm -hmm. uh, or like being in a place of power that they were like r ruling down on the other people that could have been lying or something like that to people? No, because God would have killed you. God would have killed you. So, for example, um, one of the reasons why the outfit of the, the high priest had bells at yep. the bottom is because if they went in to offer and they were they were not holy or they were liars they were the thieves or whatever which was a common thing yes um god would kill them and then they would pull them with a rope what they needed to hear the bells walking and if if they if the bell stopped ringing then they would pull because they knew god had killed the person yep. um you you see this in in um eli yep correct during right before when samuel was being called um, this was exactly what happened. Samuel heard the voice of God. Eli did not. He for, well, Eli was he heard it before, but somehow he forgot about it. Correct. Because, because when Samuel comes to him, Eli, the first response that he's getting is like he's not mm -hmm. understanding what's really going on. Right. Until the third time he goes, Oh, wait, oh, oh, wait. I know exactly yep. what's going on. Yep. There's a big difference, big yes. contrast between him and Abraham. Yeah. But you know something, Van? But I'm going to throw something at uh, 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 Miguel right here. Mm -hmm. Do it. Do it. Okay. He's been so, talking a so, lot. So how about this? How about this? In the Old Testament, the Bible says that whenever God called up Moses, okay, they would have to see, they would have to set a parameter around the mountain because no one was unable to surpass that or they will be, or they will be killed. However, when, Mo, when God was talking, when God was speaking to Moses, Moses was able to listen to God's voice, but the people at the bottom of the mountain will only be able to hear thunder. Mm -hmm. Because when you are unfamiliar with the voice, it sounds like thunder. Right. And God doesn't sound like thunder. God speaks to you the way we speak to each other. Right. But unless you're not at the mountaintop, right. all you hear is thunder. Well, So, Miguel, how do you turn around that? How do you go and say, man, I want to hear that voice. I don't want to hear thunder. Pray. Perfect. Man, I, got, I got it right here. Uh-oh. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> we got I would, to, we, very prepared. I, would, I, love I, would, I would have to say, who's your teacher? Uh -huh. Oh, my goodness, Lord. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, reading the Bible, that's the important one. Yep. That's the important one. Prayer and the people around you. God uses the people around you to, 
to speak his message that you need to hear. And that's all I have to add. So that's a great point because a lot of people think that God is literally going to get off his thr throne and go to your room and talk to you. Oh, Now, no. can he do that? Yes, he can. Absolutely. Absolutely. Did it happen to me? Yes. It happened to me. And I, he gets slapped too. I have gotten slapped. That is a thing. I yeah. have definitely. And, and gotten, he gets slapped in the face that he was laying on the on top of the pillow. Definitely yes. wasn't my mom trying to wake him up. No, no, no. no but, we were but, not married. But wait a minute. But I'm, but I'm gonna I'm gonna ask Adam. Adam, can you get? No, this uh, is before. Oh yeah, when you were younger, that you I asked was, the guy. I was a young. I was a young man, and I was laying down. I said, God, can you wake me up so I can pray in yeah. the morning? And and I'm laying there, and the thing is, in in my dream, right? I'm looking. I'm laying down, and I'm looking. At you know, I'm looking at the sky and I can see this hand <laughs> and it is coming down. Yeah, you know how stuff enters the atmosphere and it's like on fire. Yeah, that that's exactly what it looked like. And the there was no of, ceiling. Uh, a Richard Pryor, it gained momentum in Georgia. <laughs> yes. So I, there was no ceiling. I couldn't see the ceiling, right? And I'm looking at it and I'm going, Well, that's odd. You know, I'm just looking at it. It's getting close. And it just got close and close and close, and then all of a sudden it just went. Bam! Right in my face. But the thing is, I was laying down on my left side, and I got hit on the left cheek. So it went through the bed, and then it—I mean, literally threw me the, off the bed. And the light was on. Oh my! And God. I said, "I will never ask you again <clears throat> to wake me up. I right. will wake up on my own." Because if he's able to talk to you, he's able to listen to you. So, Adam, can you go? Can you get uh, the book of Job? Of course. And uh, chapter thirty-three, and I want you to get into and verse. Uh, 14 please because when we're going to go into this because yeah. here's the problem okay we we try to figure out how can i listen to god okay? 14 you said 14. yeah uh, yeah 33 14 i got it here okay we try to figure it out how can i listen to god and then you know what we do we google things instead of like what and then we google and we seek where do i find the answer well the answer you find it in the bible mm -hmm. okay so he i want you guys to hear verse 14 15 And uh, 14 to 17. Go ahead, Adam, read All that, right. please. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. It says, For God may speak in one way or in another, yet man does not perceive it. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falls upon men while slumbering on their beds, then he opens the ears of men and seals their instruction in order to turn man from his deed and conceal pride from man. So God speak to you, to dreams, to mm -hmm. the word, but the verse says what? But men fail to understand. But perceive it. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Because there's always that fight that will fight yeah, between yeah, yeah. it. Well, the flesh. This is why. Yes. We, this is one of the reasons why we talked about this uh, a, a while back uh, when it came to fasting. Yes. And we we went in detail about fasting. And one of the main reasons why you fast is so that you can make your body weak and allow the spirit to yeah. actually take over. The drive the car. Because you can't when you. When you are in full control, right? When your flesh is has all the strength and all that stuff, you are going to fight God. Yes. But when you are not in control, you're you're willing to allow the supernatural to actually happen without you, dare I say, soiling your pants. But but when so then why is the verse telling you when the, when man is asleep, I open his ears. Mm -hmm. Because when we're sleeping, we're quiet. See, we are expecting thunder and lightning, and God only wants what? It's just a quiet the moment. You know what's insane? I was thinking Still about that when you were talking about the thunder. Yes. Because I'm like, it got, it's so funny because God works in these polar opposites. Yes. It's never like in between. It's always either it's going to be loud and brash or it's going to be still. Yes. And a lot of, because I was watching this preaching when we first got together like a few years ago, that uh, I was trying to get closer to God. I wanted to enter the Holy of Holies and I didn't know how to do that. So the, the research that I was doing, this there was a pastor that was preaching and he was talking about how uh, there's a fight in the outer gates. Like you have to sit down and you have to sit there and pray and you have to fight your flesh because it's going to want you to be distracted. But then once you allow Jesus to walk you through into the Holy of Holies, it's a still quiet voice. It's the only person that can walk you through there. Yeah. Yeah. He, and here's the thing. The way we see it and the way we should learn about it is it's the Walkman, okay? Mm -hmm. How the Walkman works. When I was growing up, the Walkman had little, little, uh, little headphones, 
Remember those little headphones with the little metal thing? I think you oh, have he, to explain what a Walkman is. Yeah, he it, doesn't know. You have I to know, understand no, 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 that listen, listen, this listen. stuff. I am not that young. Yeah, okay. I, know, I played with Walkmans before. No, no, oh, but, okay. but, but the players. thing is, it, it is. It, see, but the, the, the little, the, the, little the, the little pillow in that Walkman, it's so little that you had to crank it up yeah. so you can listen to the actual song. Yeah. Nowadays, you get all this new stuff. Noise canceling. And, do, and yeah. so what Amazing we need, technology. Yeah, so, so the way you see it, or the way you can spend it is, stop using the 90s, the 80s Walkman and bring up the new system. Airpods. You use the AirPods. It's at the moment when you're alone and quiet. Mm -hmm. Ben, how, how about that? Well, I mean, how, how did you hear God's voice? In this, well, my dream. Well, I don't know. Yeah. In my dream, I was... I got explained to them in the um, in one of the preachings that I uh, was at Penn Station. I was going up the escalator and between both escalators, for some reason, I looked up to the screen and the image of God was speaking. Nobody could hear it and nobody could see it but me. And as he was speaking, I was the one talking. So that's how he was speaking to me. Wow. So how about how about this? How can we know when God speaks? Like how we can using his servants. Like, get off your horse thinking that you are that special that Jesus himself is going to appear in your room. Yeah. No, he's going to use Pastor Ven, Pastor Gueso, and Miguel to tell you, I love you. Yeah. I want to rescue you. And the thing is, too, is that his voice is so assured. Like, yeah. You know when it is. Like, I remember when you I, know. I, I've always wanted to have an experience like my uncle or my father that they got to see things, right? But I, mm -hmm. I'm i too cagao. I'm too scared to do that. <laughs> But the first time I heard God's voice is when I was praying and I, I was asking him, I was like, I don't know if this is, you know, if this ministry is what you actually want me to do because this is something that I've always wanted to do. But I want to make sure that I, I'm not doing it because I want to do it. I want to mm -hmm. do it because it's something that you want me to do. Yeah. And when I, when I remembered this memory when I was younger that said you have to stay stop and wait and i did that the song that was playing to me was talking to me it was it and it was something that i knew i knew the radio talked to me because the, the the amount of uh the the statistics in order for that to be the exact same song at the exact same time at the moment that no. i needed to hear that no coincidence it's here exactly. too much of a no coincidence. no yeah. see the thing is with me right uh, and and the pastor also went through something similar and you now have experienced that through a dream with me In my calling, I was sitting there. I, I wasn't in a dream. I was wide awake. I was in church. I had just finished playing drums. And I'm asking questions in my head. And the preacher is answering my question, my direct question. At he the even right moment. said, he even said, because I said, I'm way too young. There's no way you're calling me to be a pastor. And the preacher said, don't tell me that you're too young. I made so-and-so king at the age of four. So I mean that it, it's not a coincidence. That is a direct answer. Yeah. Be because when the, the and, and I love the fact that you use that uh, king, young king. Mm -hmm. Because when God is going to speak to you, the number one thing that you need to understand that is God. It has to be Bible proof. Yeah, God is not going to tell you. Listen, I'm going to give you an example. Mm -hmm. If you're married, okay, and you have a wife. God is not going to come to you in a dream and say, you get a divorce, her, and go get somebody else. That is not by, that's not God. Mm -mm. When, whenever God speaks to you, he's going to be completely Bible proof. He's going to tell you, this is, you're going to, you can compare it and you can seek for the information in the Bible and it's going to be a hundred percent accurate. Well, Pastor, so in other words, oh, in other ahead. words, he's not going to tell you, you need to buy this private jet because Tyler Perry made it super cheap. No, 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 no. Right. No, no. Okay. Or, or you don't have to buy a plot of land in, in heaven. heaven. <laughs> or, or, or how about, or how about this? You don't need to go, uh, in the only, on the, these, these info commercials about these so-called, uh, people that serve God or whatever they do. Uh, if you send me an offering, I will send you, uh, uh, a, a, a little, a little, a little plastic bottle that has holy water. Yeah. So you can become a son of the devil twice. No, 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 no. You don't need to do any of that. No. no. All you need to do, or you don't have to send money to get a little, uh, a, a little cloth. Okay, that has oil. Okay, I'm selling you anointing oil. No, no, that's. You know why people do that, Adam? Because they don't, they read. don't read. They don't know exactly. God's voice. Yeah. Well, I was gonna say, Pastor. So I'm gonna ask Miguel. Miguel, what is the one thing that I always say? How do you know that you're part of this family? How do you know? How do you know? What do, what do I always teach? 
If you remember, if you don't remember, I'm putting you on the spot, but I'm oh, hoping yeah. that you remember. I, I do, I know, I do know the answer, but yeah. I'm gonna let him burn. I always say this. I mean, I have, I have mentioned it a lot of times. Yes. How do you know? And it's by the Apostle John. How do you know that you are part of this family? How can you tell if someone belongs in this family? What do they practice? Fellowship. Yeah, you're close. I'm making. Oh, he's, I'm he's not gonna, sweating. He's I'm not sweating. Gonna, I'm not going to do that to you. I'm not going to do that to you. <laughs> I just did that to him. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> uh, what's the answer, Pastor? Love. Love. Yes. Remember that I said that? I say it all, all the, the time. time. All the time. So here's the thing. If God's going to speak to you, I'm not going to say irregardless because my one of my friends says that we joke around with yeah. that because people think that that's a word. Yeah. And regardless <laughs> of what, what people say or whatever, God will speak to you and it will always be based on love. Yes. It will always be. If it's so, God speaking, mm -hmm. it is always based on love so i want to ask a question for i want to put myself in the shoes of the viewer okay, whether yes. you're a christian a new christian an old christian mm -hmm. maybe not even a christian but you want to know about god's voice you want to give it a try mm -hmm. um i know that we talked about prayer and 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 reading the bible and fasting mm -hmm. um as examples but if you guys can give like a, a deep like what is it that you guys do like what maybe your your practice mm -hmm. your your if you want to sit down pastor because i know that you do this daily um and i don't and i and i say you specifically because i know there's a bible verse that you told me that you use in order to be able to get to the holy of holies mm -hmm. and speak with god what is it that you do specifically if you want to hear god's voice if you want to have a, a word from him uh I, I i the first thing that you do is you you separate yourself uh to what you're gonna do and you prepare your heart you just be quiet and listen but also uh it comes down to knowing christ knowing the voice uh, knowing what he does so i prepare myself simply just getting in the morning and in my case i get in the morning and i i start you know praying uh and it's funny because there are moments that i can not because i'm special but i can listen to god's voice out loud like i, I i'm able to listen to him telling me do this and it's amazing that then i go in my car and the song that he's playing yeah. it's the same exact thing that just happened so that's like that, you know. That's how. If you, you do can, it. can yeah. you share that Bible verse that you share with me that you oh used to God. get connected? I got so. a different one. Could you? Who goes oh. up to the, who's allowed to go up to the mountain? Or who's oh, 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 of course. Oh, 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 I thought you wanted to, to Psalm use Psalm twenty-four. Yeah, no, I thought he went to use uh, that. My sheep knows my voice. But yeah, quién subirá el monte de Jehová? Yeah. Y quién estará en su lugar santo? El limpio de manos y puro de corazón. El que no ha dado su alma con su vana ni jurado con engaño. Él. So uh, another secret tactic, if you will, is God loves it when you use your his word against him. That, that's 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 mm -hmm. how you blackmail God. That's how you do it. So that's how, no, you get it. You, say, you, no, you said, that? yeah, you said, yeah, no, yeah. That's, it's true, it's it, true, and and Moses I, did it. If if uh, not that you asked me, how did but, you know? I, I was going to go through everybody. Yeah, I, gonna, I, 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 I definitely tell go? you mine. But go ahead, you go. Yeah. I, how do you do? I, like if you have, if there is a, a certain a certain thing that you do. How do you do it? And have you heard like what some of the stuff that? Because I know that I've told my story yeah. about like what I heard God uh, tell me. Have you had that experience yet of, of in the shower, bro? I, I when I go. In Why the is shower, always in the bathroom? When I go in the shower, I don't know. I know it's always it's, in the we're bathroom. Vulnerable. Yeah. We're vulnerable. We're <laughs> vulnerable, and you're by yourself. You, 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 you can know, be the yourself. Water's hitting you, and yeah, yeah, yeah. I get on my knees and I pray. And it's crazy because when I close my eyes and I pray in the water, I could like I could see images, bro. And it's just I like feel. whoa. Yes, I, I speak to him and. He speaks to me up here, like I said before, and then yeah, I, yeah. I just keep conversating. I don't even have to say it out loud. It's yeah. like he's I'm talking with him in my head and he's talking back. And, and I that's love how it. I get my messages yeah. too. And it's just like, okay, this is what you want me to speak about. Then we're gonna get there. And then I do my studies from there and that's it. That's wow. it. Bro, I'm telling you, it's money every single time. And, and it's amazing. It's amazing through. because then yeah, he, you, he'll tell me ahead. something and then he'll he'll give a like, pastor. I just did this, and then he'll go somewhere and someone is talking about it, and that's it. Miguel, that is God talking. It's you finally God. broke that mm -hmm. barrier. Now you understand yep. how to listen. Oh my God! It, it's, a, and it's, a, it's a good place to be. Yeah, I mean, it's That's... a good place to be. Um, for me, but I I, I want to say this before I, I say anything else. Um, God will speak to everybody. Yes. Okay. So you you don't need to be a Christian. You don't no. need to be. And the one thing I will tell you is you will know is God. Yes. Because he his voice oh. is unmistakable. 
It's when when he speaks to you, too many coincidences. So people, there there are certain things that happen. Some Ooh, people cry. Yes. Some people tremble. Goosebumps. Uh, they get goosebumps. Some some people just shut down. They close their eyes. They can't move. El they, taco, yes. el taco in your throat. That's is, right. That, yeah, I mean, it just happens. Like I know my my daughter Abigail. She just starts crying. Yep. She mm -hmm. starts crying. Uh, she gets real red and she starts crying because there's a manifestation, a physical manifestation of a supernatural Event. being. Yeah, so for me, very similar to the pastor, and I have shared this before, mm -hmm. um, I like to make myself this tiny because I like to recognize it. It's funny because this very morning I was talking to the Lord, and uh, I love driving and talking to the Lord. Uh, driving don't, don't is close amazing. Your eyes, don't, don't close your eyes. <laughs> uh, sometimes I do, and he just guides me. Okay. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Um, but I, I, I like, I love driving when I'm driving, and I have that, that time by myself I, I can talk to the lord and um i'm talking to the lord and i said lord i know that i say i don't want to sound like it's just a repetition but i will always say and i will tell you that i'm nobody i will say this every day you are god it's like what you said it's like yeah. you have to surrender yeah, have to. when you truly surrender when you truly surrender when you give him if you even look at the prayer that jesus taught us mm -hmm. he says our father who is in heaven he is above us yes he is above us he is our father he jesus is teaching us he is greater than us we put him in his place we yes. give him his place i always yes. say the heavens are your thrones and that the earth is your footstool cool. and then i add then i add i said this i say it and i feel it yeah i always say this and me this guy i'm not talking about anybody else yeah. this guy right it's here personal thing. insignificant under your feet lifting you up so that the glory will always be yours always. i never ever want to take not an ounce an inch of glory for anything never and that has never failed me because the moment you give god his glory and you start praising him like that it's a praise that comes from the heart and the bible says he inhabits the praises of his people so one of the ways that i can i can start at least finish my part then mm -hmm. okay the best way to do it for you guys it's use the example of a cup as long as the cup is full, God is unable to pour something in. Mm. Why don't we take, oof, oof. Just simply go empty the cup and say, fill it up. Yep. There's, it, everything is new every day. His mercies are new every That's day. It. That's every it. day. It's the cup. So you shouldn't, you should not be drinking and using the same cup. No. From the stuff that, from yesterday, because he, he gives you new stuff every day. Ooh new stuff every day why is that man because none of us are ever beyond repair or whatever i usually say never too, never too far, far gone no no i was just uh, <laughs> wow you see me got jumped in i like yeah, sorry, that but i you i could barely hear you yeah say it again. never too far gone yeah, see i far. said that see that i also have ventriloquism in my family <laughs> <laughs> any last things that you would like to say Miguel? oh man just all glory to god that's that's all I can say. Mm -hmm. I think that with my part, I, I would like to just to go over the points again. Um, following what Pastor Gueso is saying, um, he prepares himself. You know, he, you, you have to sit yourself apart. Uh, go be alone. Be in your thoughts. Their meditation is a real thing. Yes. Prepare yourself to have a, a verse that you can blackmail Jesus with, blackmail God with. Um, following Pastor Victor, make yourself lower. That mm -hmm. put yes. you give God his space put him above you uh and do exactly what what uh, miguel does that meditation of being able to do it when you're alone doesn't matter if you're driving doesn't matter if you're in the bathroom uh, but if you do these things not necessarily exactly how we do it but that the thing is the important thing is that you do it from a spirit within yourself yes. that you want to do it because you want to hear god's voice because like we said in prior episodes he's he's crazy waiting for you to, to yeah. Yeah. Loco por hablar contigo. like yeah, he, he wants to talk to you yeah so if you do these things I guarantee you that you will have an encounter with God. You will have an encounter with Jesus. And the thing is that once you have number one, you have nothing to lose. No. But when you do it, you receive it, the good it's news. It's amazing. There's it's salvation. an amazing thing. I mean, it once it happens to you, you'll want it every day. Yeah. You'll Sick want something new every day because it's fantastic. So uh, you know, do not waste it. Don't no. don't waste that chance. 
I want to thank everybody for uh, having spent the time with us. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we certainly do. We always enjoy the presence of the Holy Spirit. We yes. definitely feel it. We're hoping that you can feel it as well. Um, want to let you guys know we are in in the event that you need to continue watching these or you want to be a part of our Bible classes and all that, we do go live on on uh, Facebook and uh, we are on Discord. All the information is going to be um, within, you know, at the bottom there, the usual stuff. Um, we also would like you to um, click, let me get somewhere right around here. Right here, right here. Yeah. You, right you know, there. Adam, just, just cover his face. Just just don't worry about it, okay? Yeah, yeah. Just, apparently. apparently, that, apparently. That, that's yeah. it. We would like, we would love for you guys to, you know, subscribe and keep watching. Share with some somebody else if you already are a part of, you know, our our, our group here. Just share it with somebody if yes. you think it's a blessing. And that's it. We want to thank you again, and hopefully we'll see you again okay. next time. Until next time. God bless. Bye bye. God bless. And thank you so much for being with us tonight. We would like to offer you a way to be saved. The only way to be saved. And that is through Jesus Christ's sacrifice. As he says in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one can go to the Father but by me. That's right. So in order to do that, we would like you to pray with us. Yes. Just repeat us after me. Father, Jesus. in the name of Jesus. I accept your son's sacrifice on the cross. I accept Jesus into my life. Wash away my sins and write my name in the book of life. We believe that you can do this in the name of Jesus. Amen. And amen. May God bless you and welcome to the family of the Lord. Amen.